All right, hello everybody and welcome to. Uh... Yeah. Did you know that Immortals only have played G two once? Yeah, and G and Immortals one. Yeah. And look at the multipliers, because people are idiots. So hello guys, welcome to Cisco <laughs> betting predictions. I'm really sad. Okay, let's get started. Um, <laughs> G two versus Immortals. Immortals have a two point seven nine multiplier against G two's one point three four. By the way, this is a Swiss style so everyone's going to be playing best of ones the whole tournament i'm pretty sure yeah um you either you win three best of ones or you lose three best of ones if you win three then you're in if you lose three you're out you play teams with the same record as you if you lose the first day you'll play a team that also lost the first day if you win the first day you'll play a team that lost uh, won the first day and then one ones will play one one two 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 oh teams will play two oh oh and two will play own twos stuff like that um so all the first games are going to be best of one. I mean, all the games are going to be best of ones. And um, so the first game is G2 versus Immortals. Immortals have a 2.79 multiplier against G2. Now, don't get me wrong. G2 are definitely going to make it out for sure. G2 is pretty much the only team that I'm for sure about. But um, I definitely see them dropping a map or two. I definitely think that they're going to struggle because they always do in minor qualifiers or major qualifiers. I don't know why, but they always make it out in the end. So Immortals is definitely one of the teams that can upset G2, um, especially with the addition of K and G. The dude's insane. Um, uh, but yeah, with the with the 2.79 multiplier, there, there's no reason to not put something on Immortals. I think that when Immortals actually upset G2 on um, Overpass, I I still think that's G2's fault because G2 doesn't think that they're bad on Overpass, but they are. So I'm sure they're going to be a lot safer with their bands and stuff this time. So Immortals will have definitely a, um, a tougher time. But if it goes to a map like Cobblestone or something like that, which I can see G2 taking it to, um, they Immortals definitely still has a chance to upset. Uh, Alec. Hello. You're supposed to Is say that... stuff now. Oh, okay. Uh, about the same game? Yeah. Just small bet fan. on, just small bet on Immortals. You're the G2 fan, man. You're I not feel going, like you're not maxing on G2 in this game. I mean, you're like, maxing G2 and then they lose. Yeah, they're gonna lose if I do that. I mean, I could bet and then everyone else go Immortals and then easy money. But I mean, if you think about it, they're playing the hardest team other than G2. That well, you can argue like Hellraisers or Mouse, but I think G2s or Immortals are the second best year. So they got unlucky again with that draw. I still think that Immortals might take this map. I think Immortals are better than Cloud9? Yeah. Hmm. Um, but I think that Immortals should have a better chance than G2. It's probably going to go Overpass again. I don't or know. Cobble, maybe? Any, yeah, if G2 are smart, they'll, smart. They'll, go to they'll ban Overpass, and then it'll be either Cash or Cobble. The thing is, Immortals are better on Cobble, but G2 are better on Cobble. To me, Immortals, if it goes to Overpass, Immortals win, really. I still don't think G2 is a strong team on Overpass. There's a reason that three of the main players banned it for so long. Um, I just don't think it's a strong map for them. It's a map that Kenny S doesn't do anything. Like, you never see highlight reels of Kenny S on Overpass. It's just not his map. And with the player like Kenny S, it's just... You need him to perform, really. And, I mean, I know the rest of the team's insane, too, but... Kenny is a pretty big staple, and I don't think he does anything on the pass, to be honest. It is one of their better maps, though, right now. Overpasses? So mm -hmm. It's not just them saying it, or thinking it, either. A lot of people. Well, you know. I mean, we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, yeah but, so, first map, drop a small bet on Immortals, for sure. Optic versus Penta, this is definitely a game that you done out want to go on Optagon, in my opinion. That's not, that being said, it's not the best multiplier for Penta, the 2.15, but um, I love Optic because Hazed is playing again, and Hazed is one of my favorite players of all time, but um, it, I don't think they're, I, I think they're going to be one of the, okay, well, should we start by saying, or do we want to do that after, by saying who our eight teams are that are going to be making it out? We can say that after. All right, we'll do that after, but I'm going to go ahead and say Optic is a team that I think is going to make it out. But I think they're going to be one of the teams that makes it out like 3-2. I think they're going to struggle really hard because of the fact that they have Hazed. 
um, as a player. That's not because he's a terrible player. He's actually a really good player. But it, it, they just haven't had time to form, really. Um, he'll bring a lot of tactician to the team. That's why he was a coach for a while and stuff like that. He's a really smart player. And um, But Penta, with just the, the pure aim that they have in Crystal and HS is insane. Sunny's pretty insane. Um I think that they, Penta can easily upset here with Tarek and Mixwell being the main fraggers on Optic. Um, I think Penta has a little bit of a stronger aim, but definitely if it goes to any map, I think this is more of like a 50-50 to be honest. So the fact that Penta has a 2.15, I'd, I'd drop a small bit on Penta. I will say that I like this Optic team starting now more than almost... Uh, yeah, I do too, but that doesn't mean Jason that I would bet on them... If if you've With watched only a um, one point five seven multiplier, the game they played against Astralis, I think mm -hmm. on Overpass, I think it was yeah. that. Or who did they play the second game? Um, let's see. We can probably. It wasn't G two. It was it. Oh, it was. It, they was, was, it, was, yeah, it was. And they got right. But uh, the Astralis game, if you notice, they actually went super aggro on CT, and it worked most of the time. Yeah. And then they played passive, and it failed. So if they play like that, then. I think they'll all do better. I don't know. That's just what I think. Yeah, I definitely think that Optic is is the stronger team here. Um, but with the no, I mean, I mean stronger than when Jason R was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, more I think they're better team than Penta, but with the one point five seven, I don't really think that's yeah, worth yeah, yeah. it. If it was more of a fifty fifty, like a one point eight, I'd say drop a, like a medium bet on Optic. But since it's like a, it's like a two for Penta, I'd say a small bet on Penta. Mm -hmm. Um. Tyloo versus Liquid. Tyloo is a team that I haven't seen in a while, to be completely honest. But I know that Liquid has been looking really strong. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, a lot of the North American teams, other than I mean, Cloud9 have been looking really strong recently. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Liquid is looking really strong with Twist uh, and Elise always performs. Um, Stanislaw is really smart. Nitro has been doing re decent recently. Um, I think said, Nitro's been done weak link actually, which is kind of weird to say. Well, he's the kind of guy. Or that Twist. Always... If Twist if Twist shows up, then they're insane. Yeah, yeah. Twist and Elise. He, he was the, he um Nitro is the kind of the guy that like really wins or loses games for Liquid in my opinion, um because if like it's not that he's like insane, but if he's doing well, then the team's doing well because doing he's kind job. of that last piece that that Elise and like what used to be Hiko. And like simple in them what they needed, kind of. So if Nitro struggles, I feel like the whole team struggles, and it's been that way for a while. But um, that being said, I haven't watched Tyloo in a while. Um, but Liquid have been looking strong recently. Um, but with the 1.35 on Liquid, I I wouldn't bet on it. So I'd probably skip this match unless you guys know something more about Tyloo than I do. Do any of you have any of you been seeing Tyloo? Um, no, nope. oh, a little bit actually. Always an Asian better than you. Is what I like to think. <laughs> so, um, they're playing with a new guy actually that yeah, I've never yeah, seen I, before. It's Bennett or yeah, BNT. I've actually seen a match or two with him. And HG is pretty nice. I like HG it. is actually a pretty good ad. I forgot who they got rid of though for them. Oh, uh, Fancy. Him. I know Fancy. He was the first one gone, I think. But there was another one too. Um, let's see Ouch. if I can see their old ones. Fuck! <laughs> Just dropped uh -huh. my toe! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, okay, so they're also. Tyloo's gonna be going to ESL 1 Club. Oh, yeah. Fourth of Peace. July. I just no, seen that Peacemaker's gonna be helping, uh, coaching with him. For Tyloo? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just for Cologne. Misfits kicked him. Yeah. Really? That dude's going oh, everywhere. Yeah. Slut. All right, he hasn't so, done nothing either. Unless you personally, yeah, he really hasn't. He's been going to every team. All like this guy's yeah. such a good coach, and then he leaves like all the time. He gets kicked. So away. I'd say skip this match. Um, unless you guys. Not really? Know. I would say he's medium bet on Liquid. Just because but the, but Tyloo doesn't is... show nothing really. Well, the thing is, we haven't watched Tyloo. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't feel comfortable yeah, yeah, I guess personally so. betting on Tyloo. Yeah, so I definitely think Liquid. This is one of this is one of the better matches. One of the more 
stable matches the game. I think Ty I mean Liquid is definitely a team that could run away with uh, this, but I personally don't feel comfortable betting on Tyloo. Pe- I mean on Liquid just because I haven't seen Tyloo play in a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, whatever you feel uh, comfortable with, it's it's your money. Whatever. Um, Godsend versus Dignitas. This is a game that I think could definitely call for a medium bet on Godsend. Um, as as much as Dignitas performed really well at their major qualifier, um, you have to think it was a little bit of luck that Envious was playing the way that they were. To be completely honest, I know their Envious isn't the best team, but they're definitely a, they definitely should have made it out out of the three spots that were open, and they were in the finals with four people. I mean, with four teams, it was just. They're definitely not the best team, and I don't even think they would have qualified for the major if they would have made it through. But they, you would have, I would have bet my house on them making it through those four spots. It just, no one performed except for Sixer, to be honest. So that was a big shock that Dignitas is even in here. Um, But as you can see, they lost to all the other teams, um, Big and Penta and everyone else that was there. So Dignitas is like a weird team. Like, they just got thrown together. Makilele was supposed to be on the team. He, like, made the team himself and then got kicked from it, like, a week later. And, like, and now they have, like, Tenski and Kroman. Um, Kroman's a new player that I hadn't seen before, but he, honestly, he's pretty good. And Kroman's then, insane. You, you have some big yeah, names like Fox, a, Rubino, nice. Jacob, and then Tenski is the um, smart guy. But smart guy. I, I don't know. I think that although I haven't seen Godsend play in a while, I feel like... I've seen enough of Godsent when they were the original lineup to say that I feel more confident in Godsent, especially with Pronax and Twist and Lecro. Twist and Lecro are insane. And um, Disco Doppelin's a pretty decent AWP player. And Schneider's pretty uh, good himself. And with the leading of Pronax, I feel like this is um, a good bet on Godsent, definitely. Especially because the percents are the way they are. Um, so yeah, I'd say... I'd say... A medium bet on Godsend, and when a uh, when we're talking about like small bets and medium bets, I'd say look at your inventory, and then like well looking look at what you're willing to bet. So like if we're say you have a hundred dollars, right? I'd say a small bet would be five percent of what you're willing to bet. So a small bet would be like five dollars. A medium bet would be like fifteen to twenty percent, which is whatever you whatever you feel more comfortable in. And then like a big bet or like a um like a yeah like a big bet would probably be like 50% of your inventory, which is more for like games that you feel really comfortable on. So when we're saying like small bets or whatever, say like five to 10% of your inventory, and medium bets would be like 15 to 20% of your inventory. Is that what you guys are pretty much going off of? Yeah. What did you say high was? High would probably be like 40 to 50% of your inventory, right? Mm-hmm. Like, mm, well, like on a yeah, thirty like, to like, forty. Yeah, thirty to forty. If, yeah, okay. So just like, really just to get that across, like I'm not throwing and out then numbers. Max is all, Max. Yeah, Max is obviously. Max. <laughs> um, I'm not throwing out actual numbers because I don't know what everyone else is willing to put in. But like when talking small bets, it's like a little bit for an upset that has like a three multiplier. You know what I mean? You put like five or six bucks, you get. Like fifteen to eighteen back, so something um, you wouldn't mind really losing. Yeah, yeah. Something that you're like, okay, it's just five dollars. You know, if they upset, that's that's amazing. But if not, I, I'll make it back with these medium bets on the teams I'm more confident on and whatnot. So those are the teams you're gonna go for. Mouse Sports versus Tangri. Now, I have no idea. I mean, I know who Tangri is. Not that I have no idea, but I I'm like never seen them play before. That being said, with this percent. There's no reason to go on mouse sports. Really, 1.13. That means you put a hundred dollars and you get 13 back. And mouse sports is a really good team, and I think they're going to be one of the teams that make it out. But um, just the just the pure percentage is, is isn't worth it for me. So if you feel comfortable playing on ta- uh, putting a little bit on Tangri, go for it. But with mouse sports, I don't think it's it's worth it really um, because they're they're not like a top 10 in the world team in my opinion. And when you're not a top 10 in the world team, you, you can easily lose to, like, other teams and stuff like that um, without, like, without being par- paired properly. So I feel that it, there's upset potential just because it's mouse sports, but 
that doesn't mean I'm going to go on Tangri necessarily, so I'd probably say skip that. Um, what do you know about... Do you guys know anything about Tangri? No, no, no. I know that they're the other CIS team. That's all I know. Are they Asian? No, they're CIS, which is like... CIS? Not kind of like what Gambit flip side. is. Not the uh, flip side, Vega Squadron, those teams. I mean, they beat... All, all I've seen is they beat Vega 2-0 before. They did, they That's did, it. they've beaten Vega 2-1. And that, it was, uh, oh, it was 2-1? It was 2-1, they lost to Vega 0-2 before, but... Oh, um, yeah, that's what it was. Know, yeah, so, they're, Connor. I guess, so they're like the second-hand CIS, well, they're probably the third, no, they're the fourth CIS team then, because it would go Navi, Flipside, Vega, and then Tangri. And, Isn't Gambit um, serious? They're kind of mixed, I guess, but... They're, the majority of their team is, I guess. I guess you'd call them a CIS team. Um, so it would go Gambit, Navi, Flipside, Vega Squadron, Tangri, in my opinion. And so Tangri is just kind of like the the team that got there because there's no more, there's no other competition in the CIS region. Um, that being said, speaking of CIS region, the next match is a really good match in my opinion. Um, it's Hellraiser versus Vega Squadron, and with mm-hmm. Vega Squadron with the three multiplier um i think that they have a, a really um i think that there's definitely a potential yeah, possible upset. Yeah, yeah there's possible definitely team, yeah. potential upset um and because it's a high multiplier 3.0 that means you can even get away with putting less money and still making you know a big amount of money so like just even like five percent like say you put five bucks on them that's 15 bucks back but um i'm probably gonna go a little bit bigger than than that in my opinion um I think that Vega Squadron is is just a team. They they have some really solid players, and their map pools are um, pretty similar. I I probably see this game going to like cash, um, unless Vega Squadron and Hellraisers have been working on some other map together that I don't know. But like not together, I mean, but like have been both working on the same map, and like maybe they're like, oh, we'll win this, and then they're like, oh, we'll win this, and then they choose the same map. Um, so yeah. It's either gonna go to cash or like overpass, in my opinion. And Vega is def- one of those upset teams. Yeah, so, Vega is like, definitely a team. Last... A team that most likely won't make it out, but they'll take down. They'll, I mean, they'll they... take a W off a big name or two. Like um, NIP. Like yes. they did to NIP in the last major. I mean, these, these guys, guys I mean, last were major fluffy qualifier. gangsters. Right? They were fluffy gangsters. Just yeah. to confirm. Okay. They almost upset um, Mao's, and then they ended up beating NIP, and it's the same roster. So, um, I definitely think that they're a team that will not go 0-3. Let's just say that. So, and this Hellraisers could be the first game that they win. You never know. The last two matches, you have Flipside versus Renegades. Flipside is a 2.08 multiplier. And in my opinion, this game's more of a 50-50. Um, to be honest, I haven't... I mean, Flipside's the same team that they were. And Renegades has uh, two new players, Nexa and Nifty. Actually, um, Flipside got rid of. Wait, the last time that I. No, they've they've the same team. Yeah, they have the same team. Um, what's his name's not there anymore. Shara. Yeah. But he's been gone for like a year. Yeah, now. he's been gone for a while. Yeah, but or I thought he was. I don't think he was in the last major, was he? No, he wasn't. That's what I'm saying. I they mean, didn't... I thought he was. No, he wasn't. It was electronic. Uh... Watch, I'll even check right now. Community market. Yeah. <laughs> stickers i'm like 99 percent sure is electronic mm-hmm. um but that being said i feel like this is a 50 50 match and because it's a two for flip side i'd say i'm i'm probably gonna drop like a medium bet on this match on flip side um i think other the other guys have a little more confidence in renegades though but what do you guys think wait you said medium on flip side or yeah oh, i thought you were you were gonna go medium on renegades no 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 what do you think? Uh, yeah, I can see that. I mean, I like Flipside a lot. I, I think, think I think Renegades can all win this. So, the, what what maps do you think you would go to? It's either it's gonna be Cash, Overpass, or Overpass. Yeah, I'm fulfilling a train or a Cash. I I'm I'm pretty confident in Cash, but I don't really know what like a second follow up map would be. Um, I'm not sure, but that's a pretty close, pretty close match. So I'm gonna go on flip side on that one. Tyler says Renegades. Alex says flip side. 
And then the last match of the day is Cloud9 versus Big. Max on Big. Although I'm a Cloud9 fan, although I think I'm pretty sure they're gonna make it out. Um, they they struggle so much at these major qualifiers the past three or four majors, and they haven't been able to make it out. And um, that being said, Big is a is a really is a pretty strong team on land. To be honest, they have a lot of experienced players. Um, next. Keeve is insane on land. Tabson is the most Tabson, insane yeah, player Tabson, in the world Tabson, right now. Tabson is pretty nutty. Um, mm-hmm. And Godby, you know. And I don't really like Legia that much, but he's just on the team. You know, they have to have five players. But Godby likes him. That's the only reason. Yeah, he brought him over with him from NRG. Um, but, yeah, so Big is Big is definitely a strong team. And they're they're one of those sleeper teams that honestly could make it out of this, that no one has their eyes on them, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thank They're you. honestly a team that can, that can make it out of this. Now, that being said, Cloud9 is a team that I think everyone says is going to make out of this. So that's why... They're just... There's so many Cloud9 fans. That's there's why the percents are this way. I love Cloud9. What? I love Cloud9. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> I heard uh, there's a lot of Cloud9 fans. You don't okay. talk like the whole fucking time. That's and, what you're saying. And what did say. you saying that have to do with anything? Because Alex said there's a lot of Cloud9 fans and he's trying to say he's a Cloud9 fan. Okay, X, thanks. I don't, for I don't that know input. why he screamed it though like that. But with, with Big with a 2.75 multiplier and how strong of a team they are, and I think that they have um, potential to. Oh upset. no, Cloud9 is going to lose. Yeah, exactly. Cloud9 <laughs> Cloud9 is going to be a team if they make it out. They're either going to make it out like 3-0. It's going to yeah. Or they're going to make it out 3-2. They're either they're going to blow lose, through and everyone, then I'm going to read uh, or they're going to fight like really hard. They're going to have to fight really hard. The way that I'm gonna they've read, been performing like, recently Twitter-ish. wants to make everyone believe that they're going to make it out of this easy, but it's Cloud9, so they're not. That's all I, that's all you have to say really. Um so Cloud9 is a team that you never bet on if they have the higher percent, in my opinion. It's just one of those teams then that like, I love Cloud Nine. They're they're my second favorite team. I've always loved Cloud Nine, but um, sure. with just the way that they are, I I I wouldn't bet on Cloud Nine except for when they're trying to upset someone else. So this is this is honestly going to be a small to medium bet for me. So probably like ten percent for me on big. Um, but yeah, those are the. Those are the first matches. Those are the matches of day one. Um, a match to look out for as well is Gambit versus iGame right here. Alec brought it up. Um, although Gambit have been looking really poopy recently, they're probably just um, getting ready for the major and stuff like that. And Trying it's online. Saving strats and stuff. Yeah, saving over. strats, preparing and stuff like that. But they did have a hold on. It's, they do have a a lower. They have a 1.83 multiplier against a team that I've never even heard of like a really bad team so I don't know take that as you will I probably won't bet on Gamut anyways but I just think it's something to look out for um and yeah so that's day one I'll give a little recap as I always do and then the eight teams we think yeah and then we'll all say the eight teams we think um that will make it through so G2 versus Immortals, small bet on G or small bet on Immortals, Optic versus Penta. What did we say? Medium. I said like a. What was it? Optic versus Penta. I think I said like a medium bet on Penta. You I don't remember though. I, I just. I think you said skip. Oh yeah, I did say skip. Yeah. Um, but I'll probably. Eh, it depends on how they go. If they go up for a, a Penta a little more, I'll probably drop something on them, but. Um, skip at the percents right now. Tyler versus Liquid, I'd skip in my opinion. Um, Godsent versus Dignitas, medium bet on Godsent. Mouse Sports versus Tangri, skip or like really small bet on Tangri because it's just it's like a 4.5 multiplier. Hellraiser versus Vega Squadron, small to medium upset potential. Flipside versus Renegades, medium, um, small to medium on Flipside. <clears throat> big versus Cloud9, small to medium on Big for huge upset potential. All right, and we'll start off with Alec. The first eight—I mean, the eight teams that you think are making it out. Okay, before I, before you say that, I game. I'm looking at them now. I thought they were a different team than this. They are the X. Um, I forgot what they're called now. They're the Finnish team. I used to bet on them quite a bit, actually. 
with Sagerton X7 and Saw, they removed someone for Juho and Sori, I think. But yeah, they're a pretty decent team. Okay. I lost well, a lot of money on them. Stay away from that game. Because yeah. it's on Mirage, which is not recently been one of more Gambit's more popular maps, but before it was, but not recently. So I guess right. stay away from that game then altogether. So eight teams: G2, Immortals, Optic, Liquid, Mouse, Vega Squad. You think they're making it out? Yes, Big Cloud Nine, and I think I have one more, right? Nope, that was eight. That was eight. Yeah, you said G Two Immortals, Optic, Liquid, Mouse, no. Vega Squadron, Big, and Cloud Nine. That's eight. Yeah. Oh, should I write these down? I'll write these down. <laughs> Two, three, four. Yeah, you said eight, Alec. I yeah, you said eight. <laughs> You don't have to count it out, Alec. Alec. I swear I said someone else, that's why. G2. Im... Oh, maybe I didn't say Immortals, actually, before. Yeah, yeah. No, but you, immortals. No, you said Immortals You definitely before. said Immortals. Alec, you said eight. No, 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 I'm saying before, like, when I told you... When we were you said G2 Immortals, Optic Liquid, Mouse Sports, Vega. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. No, I'm, I'm clarifying. Oh. Uh, and Big, and then C9. Alright, X, since you're the one, you're the smartest of us all, let us hear it. Who's, who, who are the eight teams that you know are making it out? Did you know? Oh, shit, I forgot the eight teams. Uh, Cloud9. <laughs> C9. G2. G2. Hey. Optic. Optic. Uh, is it one and done? I, I wasn't listening. No, no it's, it's, uh, if it's you lose three, you're out. If so you lose three or you win three. Three, you're out or win three, yeah. Mouse. Mouse. Mm, I kind of feel Tai Lu. Mm, a little bit of an Asian flair in your butt, huh? There's always an Asian better than you. Yeah. Oh, Alright. So, Tyler, you, you have three spots left, X. Uh, big. Big. Uh, like my uh, talk. Dignitas, because I'm running out of teams that what? I don't know. Uh, so you're running out of teams that you don't know. <laughs> that I know. I said just, that I do know. This guy's going to get them all right. Six, seven. Uh, one know. team left. What are, what are the options? Oh, my, oh God. my God. You have you have Penta. You have Liquid. Penta. Oh wait, liquid. I didn't say liquid. No, you didn't say liquid. <laughs> I'm saying Penta. Immortals, <laughs> Optic, Godset. Jesus Christ. How right, is Tyler? Okay. Your eight teams. G2 Tyler. Immortals. So many that there. Yep. Okay, liquid. <laughs> Mouse. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. How is Vega? Jesus Christ, you're both saying Vega? Are you fucking idiots? And then Cloud9 Big. Jesus Christ, you guys are fucking idiots. Did you see the scene <laughs> that list as me? Or Wait, no me mouse? Check. Did we? Um, Big C9, Vega, Mouse. No. You said Optic, Tyler, Tyler switched Hellraisers for Optic. And Optic, okay. Yeah. You guys had seven of the same teams. Okay. <laughs> I think we all said G2 Immortals. Nope, Xavier didn't say Immortals. Maybe he knows. Maybe he knows. Maybe Immortals will no, no, choke again. No, no, Dignitas definitely are above them. No, maybe Immortals will choke again like they do every major. True. Yep. Okay. So I'm putting G2, C9. Those are my confident teams. Now I don't know. Everything else is gray. Mouse Sports. Mouse Sports. Um, God Ascent. God Ascent. Hellraisers. Liquid. One, two, three, four, five, six. I haven't said Immortals, which is a, definitely a team up there. Mm -hmm. Immortals Optic. Alright. Wait, no. I don't want Optic. Optic. I'm the only one that said no Optic. I don't want Optic. Hold on. I didn't say Optic. Optic was my last choice, I think. Xavier, you said Optic is your third choice. <laughs> Fuck! I don't think I want Optic. I think they'll go 2-3. I think I want Blue's flip side. Match. I want flip side. Alright. Those are my eight teams. Alright. We'll see who's right at the end. Thank you guys for watching and... Uh,